We're gonna play Turtles in Time. Turtles 4, Turtles in Time. So it was Turtles 4. Um, the first pre order on NES. Yeah, but in the arcade, this was just. It was the second one in the arcade. Mm -hmm. And then Turtles in Time, later on the Blu ray of Turtles 3, became Turtles in Time because everybody called it that. Oh, look at uh, April O'Neil's tits. You know what I always thought? Did you ever think, like, like, do you think her tits might be a little bit bigger, like in the, in the Genesis version, the Hyperstone heist? Or like, if, what if you compared it to the uh, arcade? Like, do you think her tits are like huge in the arcade compared I to this? I think they're all about the same. Um, the graphics are a little bit different, I think. It, like, the animation is a little different in the arcade where she's talking. But I, I believe that the breasts are a little bit more pronounced in the home console versions. If you want to see some get good April O'Neil tit shots, <laughs> play play this game. There she is right there. Yeah, I want to, I just killed her. <laughs> you know, this was the first um, arcade beat em up that I played on a home console that actually felt like the arcade. Because remember the second one on NES? Yeah, the second one... It was one... called the arcade game because it was like, that was the novelty of it, that they were taking the same arcade game and putting it on the NES, but it was nothing like it. Well, back when I was a kid, like, I liked that game because it was like... It was the best you can get. It was the best you could get at the time, so yeah. I liked it. But then Manhattan Project came out, and that was better. Yeah, so then it that was, was like... its own original uh, game. Yeah, so then it was like, well, that's like the best one. And then finally this came out, and it's like, well, okay. <laughs> so yeah. basically they just got better as they went, I guess. Well, it's basically once they got the 16 bits. Like, I remember, oh yeah, Final Fight, that was a really cool yeah. uh, game on Super Nintendo, um, where these games just started to feel more like the arcade. Well, this game was a blessing when it came out. Yeah, it really was. It was, was finally the turtle game that you always wanted. It, yeah, exactly. It has like all the characters, yeah, that, like from the cartoon that you wanted to see. Yeah, there's like nothing stupid about it. Like, remember, like the NES the version, like all the things you would fight, like weren't even stuff from the cartoon yeah, or there was anything. Fl uh, flaming chicken McNuggets and everything. Yeah, like all that crap. It was guys just, with chainsaws. Yeah, it's like who are these characters? How many times do you think you've played this game? Probably like. <laughs> At least a hundred times. This is like autopilot. Yeah. Here we go. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, oh I see. I, I see. I missed your, the time. your timing but, was a little off. But that's what I would do as a kid all the time. I try to like time it. It's like trying to grab the orb at the end of the stages in Castlevania. It's like there's no reason to do it, but you just yeah. do it. Yeah. And sometimes you try to like pose yourself. <laughs> By the way, Xenomorph. They should have had Irma in this game. Yeah, that's the only thing it's missing is Irma, and uh, that's the only complaint that could be made about this game is that there's no Irma, yeah. Vern or Vernon. Well, Vern. Oh, Vern. I mean, and Vern. Vern Vernon. Oh, yeah. I still get that confused. Vern and Vern. Yeah. Well, Vern and Vernon. Vernon and Vernon. But but they don't usually call him Vern. Vern Thompson. That's his first name. So it's usually just Mr. Thompson. Yeah. Bernsey. Bernsey. <laughs> that's his girlfriend. You know that episode yeah, yeah, yeah. where he's got that like girlfriend. Look at that. Now that's awesome. Yeah. See that? And look at the perspective. See how they get smaller when they go into the Technodrome? Yeah. That's how it should be. Because when you play the uh, Turtles game on NES, the first yeah. one, you stand next to the Technodrome and you're like almost the same size as it. The perspective yeah. is all off. This game got it right. Mm -hmm. This game got everything about Turtles right. There, it, it got it so right that there never even needed to be another Turtles game after it. That's true. Like, I mean, yeah, there were some other games, but I can't even really think of... They made, like, a remake of this, I think. And it's like, that'll tell you right there. It's kind of like... Yeah. Every other Turtles game, pretty much, that's come after it has pretty much just been, like, trying to be, like, Turtles in time. Yeah. And that's because you can't really get better than this. It's kind of like a really good movie where it doesn't need a sequel. It's mm -hmm. kind of like you just did everything you needed to do right there. It's like there's no reason to even... Like, it, it has Shredder and Krang and it's got everything in it you need. Except for Irma. The only thing that would make this cooler is if this was exactly like the arcade. Yeah, um, well, that's true. That's a good point. Yeah. I mean, the arcade is 
a little bit better. It, it, it is. It, it has more, uh, the voices are better. It has the actual uh, song, uh, Pizza Power, in the beginning with, with the actual vocals. You hear the instrumental at the end of this, but that was from the Turtles Coming Out of Their Shell tour. Oh, I didn't know what, the, what that was from. Yeah, it was actually, I used to listen to that album all the time when I was a kid. You know what I got to listen to one time? Michelangelo, Michelangelo, oh, Michelangelo, oh oh, 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 oh. Oh, you're talking about the, the yeah. turtle tunes? Yeah, thanks, by the oh, way. Oh, that was a lot of fucking fun. Oh, get the pizza. You need it. Pizza? Pizza shit. Pizza shit. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and this was cool here, too. Yeah. I mean, that looks just like Shredder from the cartoon. You ever had turtle soup? Um, you mean actual turtle soup? Yeah, because Shredder always says, tonight I dine on turtle soup. So. Well, I had Ninja Turtle cereal. Like, I've, I've eaten alligator, I've, I've eaten cougar. I've, I've really? Eaten, yeah. Um, I've, I've eaten squirrel once. Pussy. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's like, wow, we're at the Technodrome already? We're already fighting Shredder? Yeah. We're almost going to beat the game. I thought that the first and time then, I played it. I was like, really? The game's over already? That's a shame. I was yeah. having fun. And then the game begins. Now the game begins. You know what? I just thought of the most awesome idea for a movie or a show or something. What's that? A Rocky crossover with Ninja Turtles. Here's how it works. Why, why is that so awesome? This is awesome because, you know Cuff and Link? Rocky's uh, yeah. Cuff Turtles? Oh, God. Now, those turtles get in contact with some of the mutagen. Yeah. And then they turn into, you know, well, like Ninja Turtles like them, except instead of being trained in, um, you know, ninjutsu and... They're, uh, trained, they're, also, they're boxers? Yeah, they're boxers. So they, they, they learn from Rocky. And they also learn to and speak then, from, from Rocky, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. I love how this ends, how they start fighting each other. <laughs> Yeah, right here, they're doing it. Now that I think about it, why would Bebop and Rocksteady and, like, Foot Soldiers and stuff be back in time if Shredder sent the Turtles back in time? Yeah. Why are all the bad guys back in time? So Shredder sends them back why in time Why are them? all the bad guys back in time? I don't know, unless it's, like, their ancestors or something. That is really weird, yeah. Has anybody ever, like, considered I, that I don't think anybody has... <laughs> all the years that we've played this, and I've never, ever thought of that. I mean, that's a pretty basic, like, thought, too. It's like... Why is Shred everybody Like, you're in the Technodrome, time? and then Shredder's like, well, I'm gonna get rid of you by sending you back in time, so he sends you back in time. And also, like, when you beat a level, why do you travel through time again? Like, you know, why do you go to a further point in time after you... Like kill like Bebop, well, you know we kill Bebop from Rocksteady and then it takes us to like the old West or whatever. But why? Why did they go through another time portal? Maybe Shredder sends like all these bad guys back just to make sure like that the turtles die. Yeah, I don't know. I'm actually trying to think about all the reasons why. That's that's the only thing. Yeah, he sends them back in time and then sends everybody. As if that wasn't there. enough. Just, just to make sure that they... like if somebody sent you back to the years like two or something, you like. That would pretty much be enough, because if you didn't have a time yeah. machine, you couldn't fucking get back. So there you go. You're, you know, yeah. you took care of him. You got rid but of he's him. like, no, that's not good enough. I'm going to send back, like, eight million rocks maybe, warriors and shit. Maybe he thinks that they're going to do something in the past that's going to affect the present. So, like, maybe that they can uh. do something. Um, maybe the turtles could kill Shredder's that ancestors was like a, That was something. like an afterthought Shredder had yeah, after yeah. he sent them back in time. He's oh, like, oh, sh oh I better send some foot soldiers That's probably what on happened. On top of it. Why they keep jumping around time though, I don't know. Or maybe it's just a video game. Yeah. <laughs> See, the game's so awesome, it makes you forget about all that. Like, yeah. you're not even thinking about it as you're playing. See, I never thought of that in like 20 years. But this game is, is probably like 20 years old now. Yeah, Leatherhead actually says possum pussies on the, the show. Once, but it's. But it's, it, it's actually like possum pusses, isn't it? What is pusses, really? Like, come on, pusses? Oh, and this uh, stage is called um, Neon Night Riders. Yeah, is that like from something? Or um, is it just like... Possible Black Sabbath reference, yes. Look, I'm circling around you. <laughs> okay, so in the beginning, they show Krang when he's big. Mm -hmm. Now you get to fight Krang in his body when he's like normal size, which is they also would show in the TV show. And then 
you get to fight Krang again, you know, on on the next stage or whatever, and he's just like the brain form. Mm -hmm. So pretty much you get to fight Krang in every form you'd ever want to fight him in in this yeah. game. There's nothing to disappoint you with this thing. Look at that. Get him. Yeah. You're going to pay. <laughs> I love how you can you can keep flipping if you're on the edge of the screen. Look at that. Oh yeah, I'm doing it. I'm yeah, doing yeah, it. There you go. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Flip. Flip, 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 oh, flip, flip, flip with me. Flip, flip, yeah, yeah. Flip, yeah. Yeah. Flip, 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 flip. Yeah, yeah. Cowabunga. High foot. Boom. So is Krang just dead in, dead in there? I think that's it. We killed him. We killed Krang. He's dead. Dead as shit. Now that's an interesting plot. Rescue the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Pretty big thing to, to steal. They should just get some slime, and then we could just walk it out of here with an NES controller. Boom! Now, what I want to know is, in the ending of the game, do we get to see April O'Neil's tits again?